Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome to Mama from Scratch. Today we are making over this bedroom. Are you ready? Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? So the theme for this DIY bedroom makeover all started with finding this adorable pillow at Home Goods. We're going to be drawing from this pillow to give this room a very relaxed coastal theme with a splash of color, but still very soothing to the eye and calming at the same time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button. I've got lots of room makeovers, decorating, and DIYs to share with you. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. For this bedroom makeover, we're going to be doing a feature wall on this particular wall. And instead of painting it, we're going to be using peel and stick wallpaper that we found at Lowe's. Did you know they have a lot of different options there? Yeah, some really pretty options. This design actually comes in another color or two other colors. So really cool. If you are going to get a wallpaper, make sure you get the same lot number for all of them. That way the color matching will be perfect. Sometimes different lot numbers for wallpaper will change the variation of the color and that will look very odd on your wall. First step we're gonna to need to do is actually take a rag and wipe it all down. or putting up wallpaper and the outlet covers must come off. Next step, I'm going to be using a level and my measuring tape. The Wallpaper rolls are 20.5 inches wide. So what I'm gonna do is no wall is ever straight. So to help with that, I'm gonna have at least a half inch give on this side. That way sometimes the walls, you know, kind of go like this and we don't want the wallpaper to look like it's going like that. So I am gonna use my measuring tape and my level and I'm gonna draw a line down the wall so that way my first panel is on straight and then all the ones to follow will do the same exact thing. I need a step stool, I can't reach up to nine feet, only eight feet. Got my wallpaper and my little, um, basically it's like the size of a credit card. <laughs> you just need something to flatten it out on the wall. They sell bigger ones for like um, pasting wallpaper, you can use those as well. I'm gonna take the peel and stick. I'm just going to peel the backing off so you got a good grip on it. You're just gonna peel it down a couple inches. That's all you're gonna do, okay? And then I'm gonna climb up to the tower. So I start by applying it in the left corner first, giving a little bit of an overlap, like I said earlier. That way, since if the wall is not completely straight, I have a little bit of room to give without it showing the regular wall. We want just the wallpaper to show. I smooth out with my hands and the spatula and I work little bits at a time and you will see me adjust it here and there, pulling it back, adjusting, make sure there's no bubbles in it. That's completely normal. It's okay. This wallpaper actually is really good adhesive on it. Um, it is a little bit thinner than other wallpapers that I have worked with, but I didn't have anything rip on me, so that was a major plus. Now the first panel of peel and stick wallpaper actually went over the outlet cover and so before I move on to the next one I want to make sure I cut that out um, because otherwise you'll have a little bit of a bubble there and you don't want that. You want to make sure you smooth it out but don't cut too much off. You want to make sure the outlet covers all of that so it looks nice and flawless and seamless just like as if you were painting. Then once you get down to the bottom just use your scraper tool and really get next to that baseboard making sure everything lays flat and then all you have to do is take your uh, knife and then you can 
can uh, score it um, basically right on top of your scraper tool and it should peel right off for you. Just like that, the first panel is done. Now we gotta put up about six more. Not too bad. Peel and stick wallpaper is super easy to put on the wall, but this wallpaper was a little bit trickier because it's not labeled one, two, three, four for however many panels you need to cover the entire wall, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but it actually is because the other companies that I've worked with uh, on Instagram and stuff, they've always labeled it and all the patterns have always matched up perfectly. So you just kind of go on a line. It usually takes you about an hour to put it up on the wall. Well, this one did not because it's just in a roll and the rolls are 18 feet long. And so when I thought I could just put up the next panel and it'd be fine since I was just continuing it from the last from the previous one, but it did not. I had to actually match up the leaves and so I'd have to waste about a foot or so of wallpaper and then it'd be a little bit shorter off the ground. You kind of had to piece it together. It wasn't too big of a deal, but it definitely threw me off my game a little bit. So this took me about two hours to put on the wall, which isn't bad at all um, because I just had to figure out how everything matched up with the um, petals on the sides. But other than that, it was really easy and I'm basically just repeating it for each panel that goes on the wall. easier on yourself. A big sheet of wallpaper for this little area is going to be a pain in the keister. So get your measuring tape out, measure it. So it's 15 and 3 fourths. Go down, same. Go up, the same. So I'm going to cut this at 16 inches and that will be just enough for me to put it over here. You can cut it at 17 if you want and look a little bit more room. But. So just like I showed you earlier with the baseboard, you're going to do the same thing with the spatula in the corner and also in the ceiling. You want to make sure you get a nice crease in there and then you're just going to take your knife and cut that and then you can peel off the rest of the wallpaper and it looks flawless. You're just going to repeat that all the way around, super easy. Now at the bottom here, you can see how some of the panels were a little bit shorter than they needed to be. So I'm just gonna use extra here to finish it. And what I did was when I actually applied it, I put the extra behind the top piece and you couldn't even tell that it was there. So it still looks really flawless and the pattern also helps as well. Cleanup is super easy and it's way faster than painting the wall and waiting for it to dry. I love the way this looks. It's a super easy way to be add a beautiful accent wall to your home with peel and stick wallpapers. You can easily change it later on if you want to. So now the real fun begins. We get to decorate the room. So this room is actually for a 10 year old little girl and she had very specific wants for her room. She wanted it very light and airy, but lots of color with pops of blue in it. And so we added this blanket that she loves um, with the blue on the bottom so she could still enjoy that. But then we kept the bedding very light. She picked out this really pretty kind of like daisy looking comforter, has some texture on it. So in the summer she can have just this. But since it's still chilly out, we decided to add a quilt on top of that. Again, layers are always wonderful, makes the bed look a little bit plusher, and it just has a really beautiful design and it's easy to wash, which was really nice. And this can kind of mature with her as she grows up. It's very versatile, keeping the bedding more neutral. We can change out the sheets for something a little bit brighter. And since she loves pillows, I decided to add two different style of these large European shams. She really likes faux fur because it's super soft, so we layered a blanket of that on there with the iron bed. It looks really good. 
Um, the iron bed was actually black, but she wanted it white, so we spray painted that. We added the dresser from Home Goods, a Target lamp, and then some items from IKEA that I picked up recently, just for a little pop of color because she loves purple, pink, and blue, mainly blue. We added these really light and airy curtains. We used four panels, these are a little bit smaller of a panel, and layered those in there so it's still light filtering and very light and bright, but still very delicate at the same time. And then I added this tall faux olive tree to the corner for some height and also some greenery. And then I found this really comfortable chair at Target. And we got this piece of art from Home Goods. And it may not seem like it fits the room, but it actually draws in all the colors from the wallpaper and the olive tree. And she really likes it. Um, she's into flowers and sea creatures. So it's kind of fun. And she really wants to decorate her room, um, adding a couple other things. So I didn't want to go overboard with anything. But this is the way the room turned out. And I think it is a beautiful sanctuary. It's very light, airy, delicate very calming and peaceful for her and she can mature with it as well. It can kind of transition as she grows up. And I think the best part about it is that you can paint the bed later on if you like to, to it matures with her, like I said. I'm so glad I got to be a part of this DIY room makeover and help bring their vision to life. It's really fun for me to create and put rooms together, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. You'll have to let us know what your favorite part about the room is. Everything will be linked in the description box below in case you are interested in getting any of these items for your home. It was actually a lot of fun to step outside my box and try something a little bit different decorating wise, but overall, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. Give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button because I love to share DIYs, decorating, and room makeovers with you, which I have a lot coming out that you won't want to miss. Until next time, have a beautiful day. Thank you for being here.